did it, and I've heard different things, but not completely, but how did it work in Virginia? I know it was done differently um, with, um, maybe there were more, more, maybe there was more active canvassing or what, but how did it work? I mean, how, how was it successful? It wasn't just, well, they ran a better campaign. What made it a better campaign? It, part of it, and what I saw, was that groups like yours got out and got engaged and did the door knocking and did a lot more on the ground. On the board. Mm -hmm. And people, even in, uh, when I was going around doing uh, canvassing for other candidates in 2017, it was really cool because they said, you're the third person that stopped by today. You absolutely know I'm going to vote. Mm -hmm. And to get that kind of message because people were reminded again and again, that's what we have to do. It takes a lot of people. It takes a lot of organization. And um, that's one thing that I really feel passionate about. I feel like politics needs to be retail. And we need to, I mean, that's why on, on a night when I'm moving out of my house, I wanted to be here to meet with each of you and just was very, very determined to make this happen. The powers that be in the Democratic Party would tell all three of us sitting here that our time would have better, been better spent tonight making phone calls to raise money, right? You guys agree with me on that? that that's what they would say? And I don't believe that. I mean, if you don't get out and meet the people of the district, then you're doing yourself a disservice. You don't know what your district's about. And I think that, in answer to your question, I think that the candidates who really nailed it on November 7th, not only did we have a Democratic wave, which was awesome, but they were really outstanding candidates who did exactly what we're sitting here in front of you telling you that we think candidates need to do. Um, Mark Pinsley's one of them. Mark and I live in the same township in South Whitehall, and Mark was out all the time meeting people, and he broke the stranglehold that the Republicans had on the Board of Commissioners in South Whitehall, which was pretty unique. Um, it's been a long time since that's happened. But um, that, I think that's what it was all about. And the, the thing is, we've got to keep up that energy. I think that we may have gotten a little bit fat and lazy by elected, when we elected Barack Obama twice, um, and the Democrats perhaps were resting too much on their laurels um, in November of 2016, that horrible, horrible night. Um, I know, I think everybody in this room is probably shocked, and I think we got, I frankly think we got, a, we let down our guard. We can't do that again. Any more questions?